Well, it's a phenomenal win. Um, uh, Northern Illinois is a good football team and a good program, and uh, we saw a lot of positive things coming. Certainly felt like we were going to be more competitive, but that next step to go from being competitive to go ahead and winning, um, that's something that uh, you can't X and O all that. That comes down to some character. And uh, I believe we've got some really good character on this football team. So really excited for our guys. And I'll open up to any questions. Coach, have you ever been a part of something like that before in your tenure? No, I've never. Not, not, not uh, uh, so many plays back and forth in the three overtime. And you know, the last play was a bootleg that guys just made a great play. And, uh, and there were a lot of great plays out there tonight. So it was a great win for our program and really happy for our players. The game starts over two hours late. I mean, mm -hmm. was, there, was there even a doubt that you might even play it? I mean, was there ever talk about postponing it or what was going on just now? No, no there, there was a discussion that Coach Carey and I had about um, how much of a warm up. Um, that's a decision that both coaches make. And so we negotiated to abbreviate the warm up a little bit, but uh, the game was always going to be played as long as the lightning was cleared. And, uh, you know, I want to say thanks to our students uh, that were there tonight. I thought that was a, you know, a tremendous uh, uh, amount of energy and thanks for all the fans who stayed. Coach, from the first half to the second half, did you see Josh Allen grow up a little bit tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and particularly the last play of the game, um, but how he handled the two minute offense and, you know, he threw a pick that uh, we were fortunate that, uh, you know, they had a penalty on. And I think he learned from that. And, you know, I think Josh has got a really bright future. Coach, is it, is it fair to say that for the first time, perhaps, in the three years that you've been here, we saw earmarkings and glimpses of the kind of football mm -hmm. team that you're developing here? Well, there's, that's true. I appreciate you bringing that up. I mean, we, we really believe in being a physical team, um, being able to run the football and play better defense. I thought... You know, there's much more speed and athleticism out there. Northern Illinois is a, a good defense. We've got steps to go, but you're starting to see the makings uh, of the stamp of what kind of program that uh, we hope to have. So from your defense, Craig, I mean, there were times where you did, you, you know, got some, some big time stops, and, you know, I know they scored mm -hmm. late, but it just seemed like there was just a different look and a different feel to them. Are you over, were you overall pleased with, with, with the defense? Not very much. You know, there, there were some challenging uh, uh, plays that uh, Northern had done, and, um, but I thought our guys made some great adjustments. And then, you know, the, the fumble recovery Logan Wilson came up with and the, the fourth down stop and time and time again. Uh, you know, we, we really needed to make big improvement on defense. I want to credit uh, Coach Standard and all the defensive coaches. They worked really hard. Uh, for a pretty complicated game plan, it was successful. Coach, for a young team, there were multiple moments where you know immaturity could have came through, and it really never sunk them. Why do you think? That they were you know, and, and that was in the back of my mind. You know, I, I, I believe they they had the resolve and and the the belief, but you know that's easy to kind of think, and then all of a sudden when you got to go out there and do it. Um, so many times when maybe we were here in the past, we would find a way to lose the game. And that seems like a simplistic uh, thing to say or, or something coaches always say, but there's a lot of truth to that. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I, yeah, I was really proud of how everybody uh, uh, rallied around uh, Cooper. You know, he had some tough kicks, and he had one that was good, and they nailed him right before the 50-yarder. The but then he came back and answered on a couple other things. And there's just a lot of good things. And I think we found a, a really good punt returner. And I think we can be a, an explosive return team. we got to clean up some holes. There's no doubt about that. Greg, I don't think it's hyperbole, and I know it's only one game, but the defense tonight versus what we saw consistently last year, remarkably yeah. better. There's no doubt. Um, there's more speed. Uh, there are a lot of those guys are really young players. They're going to be here a long time, but there's certainly more speed and more athleticism. And, uh, you know, we've recruited better, and uh, I think guys really have an understanding, a, a purpose of what we're doing. What do you attribute the, the better tackling to? Much better tackling. Um, angles of pursuit, hustle, um, and then also athleticism and speed. You're just getting more guys around the football. Coach Wingard was on the ball. All over the field again tonight. What do you see from him in the future? Winger? Yep. Really uh, exceptional safety. Um, the sky's the limit for him. 
And uh, I've been around a couple that are really good. He's got the makings to be outstanding. Yep. I know you guys want to be somewhat cautious with Josh taking his what was going through your mind during that last Well, a little bit. I talk, you know, I talked at well, the last play. I talked to Brent earlier. I said, you know, I think there was one other uh, play where he scrambled for about, I don't know, 30, 40 yards. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Um, you know, he's a competitive guy. And we're going to try to limit the number of hits that he takes. I think it's important that he – and he did slide once. Kudos for him. Uh, I'm glad he didn't slide on the last one. I know there's a lot of other people more important to talk to tonight, so I'm going to – Coach, real quick, just wanted to ask you, you mentioned Logan Wilson. Yeah. He had kind of an up-and-down game, but – no, I, no, he did. No, he did not have an up and down game. I'm going to be real clear on this. I thought Logan Wilson played really well. So, what's your question? I was just going to say, what what impressed you with him making his first start? You know, under the lights. Well, his ability to run uh, and tackle. Um, you know, I thought. You know, they've got an all MAC player uh, that's a tailback, and they. I think it was a fourth down play. They threw a, a, a flat route, and he went over and tackled him for maybe a one-yard gain. I thought he showed, you know, a great determination coming up with a fumble. There was a couple other pressures he had, so we really, really – now that – you know what, I'll probably watch the tape and maybe have to take back a couple words, but I was really pleased. You know, Logan is from Natrona County, played defensive back. And the first time I approached him about playing linebacker, I said, what about Sam? He goes, what is Sam? I mean, he had no – I mean, linebacker wasn't on his radar. And uh, so he's really made some great progress. Any injuries that you know of? You talk to your trainer, or you even talk to them at all? Uh, no, I talk constantly with our trainer, but I, I didn't get anything that was going to be uh, keep a guy out. You know, there was a guy that would maybe miss a play or two, but they were able to come back. Coach, I know you don't want to get too high. You no. Don't want to get too low. No. Considering the last two years, yeah, it's I'm hard. Feel a tremendous amount of pride in the football team. I did, and you know, I saw that uh, it was interesting in the middle of the f first quarter. I, I mentioned it to one of our staff members. I said, "We're a better football team." And, you know, you saw signs of that, uh, but going against a quality opponent, you, you never know until you start playing. And I, I, we're, we're, we look better. And uh, I thought we'd have a shot to win, but I thought we'd have to play maybe more air-free than what we did. And, uh, you know, I think it's – if we can clean up some of, the, some of the mistakes that we made, I mean, countless number of holding penalties, and, uh, you know, the special teams plays, one of them was a kickoff return for a touchdown and another. So we got some, we got some things to work with. And so I'm personally really excited. Thanks a lot. We're 1-0. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, Josh, take us first. Just take us through the last play. What, what was it? It was just a bull and you just reversed it. Kind of take us through that last yeah, play. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's one of our, you know, run action plays. Uh, you know, coach told me to be smart with it. Uh, probably should have thrown it away, but uh, <laughs> I felt like, you know, I, I looked back behind me and I didn't see anyone. I see, I saw a lot of our, a lot of our teammates and a lot of our colors. So, uh, you know, just trusted them and kind of cut it back. Made one guy miss and found a little crease and just kind of jumped in and about died under that dog pile. <laughs> felt great though. So you've been, you know. In your careers of playing football, you've been in anything remotely close to this. You or this? I don't have you seen this. anything like this? Weather no. delays, three overtimes. Nothing. I, yeah, nothing like that. Uh, I mean, to stay focused. I congratulate this team to stay focused through all that weather weather delay. And congrats to the fans that stayed. And Thank we you. had a good crowd at the beginning of the game, and they were loud. And you know that I feel like they had an impact on the game. There was a couple of third downs where they fall started and made it way longer. And you know, I I. Congrats to that, and congrats to the offense. They put on a heck of a show out there, and uh, you know it's just it was just amazing to be out there and get that first win. Showed our team's perseverance. Showed what we've been through. Josh, sorry. No, you good. Go ahead. From the first half to the second <coughs> half, you see improvement in you. Did the game slow down for you in that second half? It did, and I ca I came out uh, super anxious, super eager to play, and I just tried to force a lot of different things. Uh, you know, came in halftime, talked to Coach Vegan. Uh, kind of calmed down a little bit, and uh, you know our O line gave up zero sacks today, so I felt really comfortable in the pocket. Obviously, I had escaped a few times, but uh, you know, just I can't thank them enough, you know, for keeping them. My jersey somewhat clean, <laughs> so uh, it's it, it, this teammate. The, this team is just something special, and I feel it. Lucas, for you guys on the defensive side, what's what's the difference? I mean, guys got several three and outs, came up with key stops at certain times. What, 
what do you attribute this different defense to this you, year? You know, you got guys that know what they're doing. And uh, we, uh, we were up 27-20 three minutes ago, and we let them score, which, which we can't have in big games. And that's going to come out – that's going to come back to bite you. Luckily, we got away with a uh, great offense, made a play. And, uh, and you know, I mean, we just can't have that. But other than that, man, we have guys that are never going to back down. I mean, Logan Wilson, what a crazy night he had. Uh, a bunch of third down stops, fumble recovery on the goal line. Uh, I mean, you can't say enough about that kid. He, he did a great job out there, and along with other people on the team. Uh, Andrew Wingard had a big hit on the goal line to for the make the fumble on the next play. If he doesn't make that, if he, they just score and then we lose the game. So, you know, it was, it was a great feeling to be out there and uh, playing for the team. Lucas from 19 coming in, is that kind of what you guys thought you might see tonight with their uh, receiver, Galladay? Oh, I didn't even. I don't even know he was coming okay. in, uh, but uh, yeah, they had some. They had some good players, and uh, you know, they uh, they good up front. Uh, I don't think we got to the quarterback very much tonight, but uh, you know, but we kept playing hard, and uh, they have some good players on their team, and but so do we. So we're going to keep working hard and uh, look at Nebraska next week. So talk to you both, probably but just about the start of the season, whether that was to win this game or just however you wanted to define it, but. You know, there's a lot of football left and a lot of improvement. What does a win like this mean? I mean, I'm not saying it's start to win conference championships, but just to get this first and in the way you did, how, how big is that moving forward for this group? It is absolutely huge, you know. Uh, to go what we went through tonight, uh, you know, we were up 27-20, they scored, and uh, we had a little two-minute drill and got into field goal position, missed one, uh, got a fumble over time, missed another field goal. And it's just, like I said, it's just this team's perseverance that just shows a lot. So. This this definitely will carry over. You know, pick our confidence up for the next, you know, how however many games to come. Josh, when you think back to your first start and how that ended, what was it like to end your second start in that dog pile? You know, it, it was really emotional after after the game. Uh, just being able to you know finally finish a Division One football game, it's something special, and uh, it's, I'm glad it ended the way it did. So yeah, it was it was awesome. Lucas, you mentioned staying focused, but how do you carry over this win and make sure that you guys? Don't get too overzealous. How do you make sure that your team? Uh, you know, uh, I think we got a good group of guys that are gonna uh, realize that that game is behind us, and you know, we got to. We we also do have to come in with confidence, which you should as a team. You should have a bunch of confidence, and you know that just gives us a confidence boost to go into Nebraska. And uh, I mean, Northern Illinois is a good football team. I think they have one of the top ten winning record in the last like six years or something like that. So. You know, it's a, we beat a good team tonight, and you know we're gonna face a good team next week, and I can't wait. Question for both of you guys: When Cooper Rob missed a couple of those potential game-winning field goals, was it almost like, here we go again, or how were you guys able to kind of stay up after that? It's definitely hard, and you know, putting ourselves in position to win a game. But at the same time, he he made a few a few picks today, so uh, he's he's a true freshman, he's a young kid, he's going to learn from this and he, he'll only get better from it. And 47 yard field goal is not yes. anything you go out there and do, especially a true freshman to win a game. But, you know, I went up and talked to him after he missed that field goal and I told him, hey, you're going to have another chance. So, you know, you just got to keep him positive and keep him working hard and he, uh, have a good week of practice and, you know, who knows next week we might need him again. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you guys. Let's go to sleep. Guys, ask these guys the same thing. You guys played a lot of football. Have you ever seen been a game anything like this? Weather delays, three overtimes, you know, momentum swings. Have you been have you seen anything like this before? Um, I was just talking to Tim about it outside. The craziest game that could stack up to this one would probably be FAU my freshman year, when somehow we won <laughs> when they only had to ice the game by running the ball. But we got the ball back, and Dom went like 80-something <clears throat> yards for the top. But this probably is number one now in <laughs> move that FAU game down to number two. This was a crazy game, and I'm excited to be a part of it. I agree. That was probably that's, – that's definitely top top three games of my career. I mean, that was – the ups and downs, the roller coaster, it was I, – I don't even – I don't even really remember much of it, but knowing that we got a W and we're 1-0, I mean, it feels freaking awesome. So. Hey, what about Defense. I mean, I know mm -hmm. they, you know, in Northern Illinois did some things, but yep. it just seemed like it was a different group, whether it's a year, year older or, yep. 
or whatever. What was what was different, at least from your mind? What was different about this defense? Yeah, you know, we're we're just gelling so much with each other. You know, we we trust each other. We do it for the guy next to us. Like I've I've said it many times. Last season was kind of you know all the freshmen were in there. They're they're not worried about who's lined up to the left and right of them. They're worried about making a play. No, we we trust each other. We all love each other. We've gone through so much together. We bought into Coach Bowles and Coach Standard's uh, schemes, and you know to have it pay off, it feels like I said, freaking awesome. And I, I'm sure you saw it from the sidelines, uh, watching the game, but we could feel it on the field too. That defense, you know, we just have a different feel to us. And you know, I, you know, the, Northern Illinois came in, you know, thinking about the altitude. They didn't even know who we were. They could care less about the Wyoming Cowboys two and ten last season. So we came out, punched them in the mouth, and it feels really good to get a W. So. <laughs> Man, that was, I that was the first time I, I'd ran on my hamstring for a long time, and I, I I didn't care. I was running. I was gonna make that tackle, and then he fumbles it, and Logan. I mean, the guy was on it, and Logan dove in there and literally pulled the ball away from that guy. And that, that, I mean, that's the play of the game right there. Uh, and to see a guy like that uh, make a play, I mean, I'm just so happy for him, and I I love the, I love Logan, and I, it just feels great. Guys, so many times last season you get in these close games, but then you'd fall short. What clicked tonight? Um, it probably was, didn't click tonight. It took mm, six months to click. Uh, the strength staff came in in January, and Coach Dennison has just been stressing one thing to us, finish, finish, finish. So we finish in everything we do. We got to finish in practice. We definitely have to finish in workout. So we will be back again. No one wants to do that. But uh, we finish in practice. We got to finish in the meeting rooms. We got to watch film, do all of that. And you know, we were in the close games last year, like you said. But this year, with the mentality we have and just guys being a year older with more experience, we were ready for it this time. Brian, I know you, you know you had 100 yards. I know a lot of guys on offense did some things. But you said this summer you were looking forward to. Seeing Josh be the quarterback, this team run, and then he, he gets that not just that last play of the game winner, he did a lot of others too. Mm -hmm. Just what were your thoughts of him tonight, and especially on, on that last play, I guess? It just feels good to see him ball the way I know he can ball. Uh, the last play, it was amazing, but I kind of expect amazing from 1 7. He, he just got that talent, he got that it, fa it factor. There's not a lot of people who have the, all the confidence in the world and can go throw the ball 80 yards. So he has all the tools and he's putting them together great. Brian, you had, like, like Robert mentioned, 100 yards, but no huge runs or anything. How are you, how, what were you seeing out there on defense? And, you know, you kind of kept you know, getting a little bit here a little bit there. Were you happy with the way the run game went tonight? Um, I'm happy with the way the game went tonight. But uh, they did a great job of swarming. Northern Illinois' defense was fast. And I just had to keep my feet pushing. And when I knew I could break a tackle, I had to make that play. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Take us through when you got that fumble. Take us kind of through what, from your perspective, take us through that play. Um, well, <laughs> so I, he he bobbled the snap right after right right off of the center, and um, I saw it, and so I just dove for it, and then uh, ended up with it, and so and I was really pumped that we got the ball back. I mean, did it come right to you, or did you have to almost kind of rip it away from? Somebody? It was uh, it was kind of like a 50-50, and then I I just I just you know took over and won won that ball because I wanted it more needed. I know you guys are, are young guys in the front. You, get, you know, whether you've been anything, have you been associated with anything like this? I mean, two hour weather delay, <laughs> you know, momentum swings just, you know, all over the world. If you've seen it, been ex experienced anything remotely close to this. Now, I think uh, cost of attendance so has to go up for us now. We got to get, <laughs> got to get a little bit more in that stipend paycheck because of that. But uh, it was, it's definitely been crazy, um, especially you know we've been sitting around waiting all day excited, just anxious to play. We knew we had our fans behind us. We knew we had uh, you know, the school behind us. Everyone was excited to get t kicked off at uh, 8.30. And you know, you have something like that. And we ended up starting the game at 10. That's definitely uh, unfortunate happening. But 
for us to maintain the level of focus that we had and continue to go out there and play ball like we did, I mean, that just shows what, what we're all about. Um, we just came out and executed. I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing big, nothing small. It was just execution. You know, we, uh, we could have easily let that game slip because of the delay that we had. But, man, we, we did a great job of holding it together. And, uh, you know, you got to give a hats off to your coaching staff, but also to your players. That's a sign of maturity and a sign of growth. Uh, you know, you're just excited. You're ready to get on the field. You don't know when you're going to go play. You just have to be ready at any point. It's kind of like that on-call job. You don't know when the phone call is going to uh, happen, but as soon as it happens, you know, you got to flip that, flip that switch and you got to go out there and play. And I think that's what we did. We uh, maintained a good level of focus in the locker room. Guys weren't messing around. Guys were focused, having each other's back, telling us, hey, we need to be ready because coach is coming in about 20 minutes. Coach be coming in two minutes and happened to be coach came in 20 minutes to roll and we were ready to roll. What else did you guys do? Did you guys just you know, meet with your coaches? Did you just kind of like you know kick back in your lockers? I mean, what did you do during that delay? Yeah, I almost took a nap. <laughs> yeah, we just we just tried to relax and you know not let the nerves get to you. Um, there's just there's a lot to think about when you're sitting in there, but um, when you're just re when you're ready to play football, I mean you're you're ready to play football. So exactly. Also, you had a you know a really good punt return. A one didn't go so well. It was kind of was it was it kind of a mixed bag for you tonight or? How did you feel? I mean, back playing football and, and doing that. How would you kind of assess that? I just, it, it it almost was like high school, you know. Not saying the level of competition, but you know, just go out, go out there and have fun. You know, once I got the ball in my hands, it became football. There's not a lot you can really think about other than just making plays and doing what you've been doing since you were a kid. I mean, it's kind of like visualizing yourself as a, you know, a toddler or whatever age you are, and you're back there playing fumble rumble with your friends or your brothers. And guys are trying to tag you, and it's, it just happened to be like that for me. It was just go out there and have fun. Awesome. You guys had two returns called back tonight. I know obviously that's a negative, but is it somewhat of a positive too, seeing that you're that close to those? Definitely. It just shows uh, what we can do if we clean up our football. Um, Coach, you know, his emphasis was clean football, play clean football. Unfortunately, those two happenings, we didn't play clean football. But if we do play clean football, you know, look at the outcome. There is no overtime, and there is no. Uh, cost of attendance money we get. Logan, can you take me through that uh, the, the final touchdown that they got before overtime started um, on that pass that, that was about a minute left in the game? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think of that play because I you, normally on the field I try to have a short memory because you can't live in the past and then you have to you know take it one play at a time. And so honestly, I don't I don't really remember that play overly. Okay. Um, so. Logan, do you remember what it was like? I mean, you've been dreaming about this for a long time, but to get out there and to get on the field for the first time, what was that first series like for you on defense? Um, it was a little less nerve-wracking than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, as a Wyoming kid, you feel like you have the entire state behind you, and a lot of these players probably feel the same way that are in the same you know area, like Colorado kids and. I mean, it's 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 awesome, especially those fans. I mean, to stay till three o'clock in the morning yeah. for a game. That's unbelievable, and no one like no one left, and um, that that's awesome to have fans like that. It's really it's really cool. Was there a play early on where you made a hit or you made a play or where it felt like okay, this is real? I'm you know, this is real for me. Now. Uh yeah, it was probably that play where I um I think I I hit I tackled the quarterback um in the in the backfield for a loss, and I was like I realized that I I I was made for this. I can do this stuff. So. Guys, it was getting late, you know, you went into overtime, you had a chance to win the game on a field goal, missed it. What did Coach say to you guys when you entered that overtime period? I mean, it was kind of like, you know, reiterating what Brian said, you know, Coach is always talking about finish. That's been our mindset since, you know, Coach Dennison has come in. That's been our mindset this summer. That's been our mindset in fall camp, and that was our mindset tonight. Uh, even though, you know, things didn't go the way we wanted them to, that was constantly pounded in our head, finish, finish, finish. And, you know, fortunately, we were the team that finished. And, you know, we're happy and we're celebrating because of it right now. I don't know if you guys were near him, but could you see kind of how Cooper responded to those two picks? I mean, I, I personally went up to Cooper and told him, I said, you're going to have a chance to win this game again. So, you know, you got to keep your head. It's short memory. Like uh, Logan said, you can't live on the past because if you do, I mean, you really can't, can't progress in the future. Um, but, you know, he was, his spirits were high, um, not as high as – we would want them to, but for someone who just missed the kick, his spirits were high because he was—he knew if we were going to call on him again, everyone had confidence in him. He was going to knock that kick down.
When's the last time you guys been up till 3.15 in the morning? Uh, <laughs> man, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'll be honest. There's there's no such thing as 3.15 in football season. So I couldn't tell you. Out at 10. Yeah, 10 o'clock. <laughs> that time. So final question on my end. How are you going to try to with that fatigue of this game going so late so long? How are you trying to mentally prepare yourselves for a new week of practice in Nebraska on Saturday? Uh, well, we'll enjoy this one tomorrow, well, today, I guess, technically, <laughs> Sunday. Um, we'll enjoy it, and then, you know, we'll, we'll start getting back to work on Monday. I mean, it's just part of football. I mean, college football, that's how it is. You got to you gotta take opponents, you know, one at a time, and Nebraska's no scrub team. They're a good team, so we got a lot on our, on our plate. It's kind of like that mindset, you know, like we're out there waiting. You can't, you can't not, you have to be ready. There's no such thing as not being ready. There's no such thing as excuses. They might not have played as long as us, but man, we have a game that we should be looking forward to next Saturday. I mean, they're the next opponent, so there's no such thing as, you know, we're tired. Just got to get over it. I mean, that's part of football, part of sports. Thanks, guys. Thanks,